Prisco here with MarkFrisco.com, CoastToCoastPropertyCorp.com. Um, I'm outside of 115 Harris. This was Kim's, uh, one of her latest rehabs. Um, this is a property that she bought for about 17000 One of the questions that was asked that uh, wanted me to discuss on the live video was, um, how do we determine if we're going to do a new build or a rehab and this is for you Rod you want to know cost per square foot uh, plans so on and so forth we have purposely bought this property for 17 grand to go ahead and tear it down however when we started uh, doing our research with the city to tear it down, the city would not allow us to. It's in, in Portsmouth. The reason they would not allow us to, I mean, they allow us to tear it down, but they wouldn't allow us to do the new build that we wanted to do because of the square footage of the lot. Um, so anybody that's ever been to one of our workshops, you know all on day one, the first two hours is about uh, market research, knowing your numbers, understanding uh, where you want to be, more importantly, where you don't want to be. And one of the biggest things I talk about is we never get in without having four different ways on how to get out and, and still make money. Here's where a lot of people got caught during the bubble. They're buying with one extra strategy, then one extra strategy is to buy on false appreciation. So, I spent about two hours uh, teaching people how to get in, making sure that you're getting in and have four of those exit strategies. This is a prime example why this property here. As we did buy it, uh, she bought it for 17 grand. We're going to tear it down and do a new build. The city said no, so making sure that we bought it right and knowing all our exit strategies, what we ended up doing was doing a rehab. Now this used to be a one-story small, I think it was only like six, seven hundred square foot, uh, two bedroom, one bath uh, with a detached garage. And what we ended up doing was putting uh, 19 um, piers down to uh, be able to support the load, kept the same foundation for the most part. Um, and then tore the house down and then just did a complete uh, rehab. Uh, basically it's a new build, uh, even though we have to consider it a rehab. Uh, it's four bedrooms, it's three full baths, open floor plan. You all have seen the inside of it, so I'm not gonna go in the inside because it's all raining and wet out right now. Um, but we had uh, 100,000, 134,000 into it, plus the $17,000 purchase price. And then Andy, as you all can see right there, the hubinator, as I always talk about during our uh, workshops, has it listed for about 218. It's a deca detached garage, um, <clears throat> has a guest suite downstairs, uh, open floor plan as always. Now, uh, Rod, your question was, what do we? How do we determine? Well, we determine before we even get in, making sure we had the four exit strategies. Uh, are we going to rent it, lease option it, uh, are we going to owner finance it, are we going to flip it, or are we going to do a new build? So that's determined before we ever go in. Your other question was, what about the house plans? Well, we have certain plans that we use time and time again. Uh, they're named after my kids. I got the Austin, McKenzie, and Blake models. We got a Kim model as well for Blake, after my wife. Um, this one, it just all depends on our architect, what we can do, maximize the square footage, uh, maximize the footprint. Uh, we had to add a little bit of footprint on the back over here on this one. So we were kind of handcuffed a little bit on exactly what we could do. So that's the importance again, that I talk about having a power team, getting our architect Reagan in here, who's a freaking rock star, to be able to draw out the floor plan of what we could actually build or you know rehab, and, and that's how we came up with it. Um, as far as prices, our rehabs do vary quite often. Our average will be about 45 to 50 a square. When it comes to our new builds, we're around 70 a square. Um, again, it's taken us a while to get it that low in the sense of volume pricing, uh, having your A crews, so on and so forth. So, once again, she bought it for 17,000, have 134,000 uh, into it on the rehab side. Andy has it on the market for 218. Um, Hopefully we'll get it sold here shortly and move on to the next one. Uh, keep following me at markrisco.com, coasttocoastpropertycorp.com, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, YouTube, Newark, New Jersey. We'll see you this weekend. It's going to be a fantastic workshop. Keep your questions coming in, guys. I'll be happy to keep doing these live videos to, to answer them the best that I can. Have a great day. See you soon.